In today's video, we see over 30 truck campers, but first, this channel is called Welcome to the Outdoors, where we feature everything outdoor related. And next year, we plan on bringing even more content, so please subscribe for more. Hey, it's Noel Gauthier from Hard Cider Campers on this appropriately cold and blustery day uh, to show you the second prototype of the Hard Cider Hard Camp. This is the unit, one of two units that we took to Overland Expo East, and is the second total prototype that we built of our folding hard-sided camper. So I'll kind of walk you through some of those details, uh, some of the things that we're excited about and that we think make it a little special. Several years ago, we did that thing where we got like really into overlanding and it got entirely out of hand and our trip started getting longer and our plans started getting kind of, you know, more international. And my wife was on a forum and we had two rooftop tents and she said, hey, I really want to do these trips in a hard-sided camper. And I looked at our Tundra, I looked at our Tacoma and I was like, well, that's that doesn't work with what we do, that doesn't work with the types of trips that we do. Uh, and she did that thing that spouses do where she said, solve it. Uh, so two years later of R&D, this is, this is where we've been headed. And what this is, is this is a folding hard-sided camper. We use a composite honeycomb material laminated with insulation, uh, with a protective fabric covering that gives us a completely sealed and insulated way to fold a hard-sided camper. That lets us be lightweight, it keeps our center of gravity low, uh, but it also means that when you're inside, it's warm and cozy and doesn't feel like a tent. I don't know if you can tell, but it is a little bit windy. Not really windy, it stopped. It was windy earlier, uh, but it's not flapping. It doesn't flap. Um, so it has that like solid, like hard camper feel inside. The other thing that we've done is we've moved what we kind of call like, it's like a cabin forward design. So you're not taking apart and unfolding the mattress. Uh, this area right here is the cabin. And this area here is where all of your gear goes, right? Cause you get in that scenario where you put all your stuff in your truck and then you live in your truck. Where do you put all your stuff? And what that allows us to do is take the entire bed, move it forward. So you can actually get in and out without disturbing anybody else who's sleeping in the bed. So as we move around the camper, you can kind of see the different pleats and folds as to how the whole system folds in on itself. These are vinyl windows right now. We will be switching those over to glass. This prototype has uh, our first full door prototype. We will be launching with a hatch so you can keep your tailgate as well as a full door tailgate delete. Over here, you can see the gutters that actually like channel rain away from the tent. We will also have an embedded linear actuator, which will push button, open and close the tent. As we move forward, the way we do this is we have a cantilever section on our new racks. That cantilever will end about here, but this is how we're able to support uh, what we call the sleeper as it moves towards the truck. These brackets right here are prototypes. Those will now be inside, but that actually allows you to remove the sleeper, but continue to use this as a canopy. So if you have off season or you want to park your truck in a garage, you can remove and add the sleeper just like you would a rooftop tent. On the roof right now, we've got a 400 watt solar panel, but we also have options for what we call our galaxy windows, which are giant windows that can open on either side to allow light and fresh air in. And we also, on this one, we have our mushroom fan so you can kind of keep air circulation regardless of the bad weather. For the front up here, besides all the bug carcasses, is our modular hinge system. So a lot of times people either want to be as slim as possible or they want to carry the opposite season up on the roof. Uh, these hinges, you can add more as you're adding weight to the roof to keep that strong. From inside the camper, uh, this particular configuration is a bench and shelf. So we have a bench on the passenger side and a shelf on the driver's side. In this one, the bench has the EcoFlow Wave 2. So it has air conditioning, heat, and dehumidification inside the camper. So at Expo East, don't tell my company mates, but I was inside enjoying ice from the ice maker in the air conditioning, and it was delightful. This unit over here is the shelf. This has our custom bag system. And with the door, this allows you to get any of your gear from inside or outside the camper. So if it's nice and you're cooking outside, you grab the cooking bag, cook outside. If you've got foul weather, you can do that from the inside as well. Also from the inside, you can access the garage, which is where all the gear lives, either from the access doors or inside. Up here we have the mattress, which has our folding mattress as well as the Froley system. So even like side sleepers like myself, that means that you're actually gonna get like a good sleep without like bottoming out. This one also has the EcoFlow power hub for electricity, five kilowatt battery on this one. 
Down here is the garage, it's like your utility cabinet. This is where you have water, power, any kind of like the utility stuff. And then you can kind of see the view outside from the windows. Right now our prototype units are in the like 400 to 450 pound range depending on specifications. And builds start at 15,000, kind of going there depending on interior. And if you want to find out more, you can find us at hardsider.com. My name's Sasha, I'm with Super Pacific. We're out here in Redmond, Oregon for the P&W Overland Expo. Made in Portland, all aluminum, wedge style camper with a canopy portion built into it. Our construction's a little bit of a unique construction. We use solid body rivets put together like an airplane. It allows it to be lightweight, really flexible, and it also is super strong. With the box tube construction, allows us to be able to do wire chasing throughout the entire fuselage of the camper. We have single handle operation doors here, so one pull and your door is open just like that. Lockable handles from the inside. If you take a look on the inside here, we have a sliding floor panel that's part of the bed. These guys push forward so you actually have full standing space inside the camper. So you can transfer between what we call living room mode and sleeping mode. The living room mode's great for if you start getting rained on. It's a comfortable space to hang out inside, out of the elements. Also a great place to change out of wet gear, things like that. The whole thing weighs 356 pounds for Tacomas, goes up to like 397 for like our F-250 fitments. Right now we have inventory campers on our website, uh, mostly Tacoma stuff. We're in Northeast Portland, all American made. Um, everything's done very localized around Portland, like within a half hour drive from millwork to powder coat to anodizing and all that. We use a material called Top Gun fabric for our tent. It's a four season rated marine tent up top. We cut that material in-house, we sew it in-house. The tent is completely built under our roof. We use the Exped Mega Mat Duo for our mattress up top, super comfortable mattress, and it's the LW Plus, so it's like 52 by 73 and a half inches. We've got extruded aluminum all the way around on the clamshell here, so for mounting things like awnings and stuff like that, it makes it super easy to build it out the way that you need to. Taking a look here at the back, in the box tube, we have every nine inches, we have riv nuts. So that makes customizing it and building it out really easy to do. We make our own molly panels in house that make it easy to mount up like propane, recovery gear, uh, you know, axes, anything like that. Um, we have two options for our cab side windows. We've got a fixed window, or we also have a slider with a tilt down on it. We also do a bunch of our own soft goods too, like our door bags here. These guys we cut in house and they're sewn up locally. They utilize the little eyelets on the doors here to attach. So you can kit out the doors with all of your gear for easy access with double zips. And we also do uh, have a gear loft that we cut in house as well. Um, that's awesome for being able to store gear right before you go to sleep. You know, you can throw your phones, books and stuff up top. You can even tuck jackets up into it, hang your keys and whatnot out of the way. You can catch us at superpacificusa.com. Our YouTube is Super Pacific USA as well. And then also check our website. We have inventory campers for Tacomas and uh, Gladiators on there too. Hey guys, uh, it's Jake here. I'm with Harker Outdoors. We're a local Utah company based out of North Salt Lake. We build these camper shells it's uh it's dual purpose for you know a truck cap and a camper shell and so i'll give you a little walk through here and show you how we set it up and you know what other features it has so first thing you can uh you can do with this shell here is you can use it as you would with a regular truck cap or truck shell you have full storage usable space um, but when it's time to set up your camper you'd pop these struts off here Flip these latches. Now you have a nice large table space that's always with you. You can use that as a cooktop, bar, whatever, whatever's best for you. Drop your tailgate. Give this a push. Then you pull your annex out here, and this is doable with or without these doors on. Once those are out, you got a couple of quick steps. There's three buttons on this side. And some Velcro. Then you'd want to take this hook here and strap this down wherever it best suits you. I'm just going to reach here and give it a little toss right there. 
I'm not gonna do the same thing on the other side just for the purpose of you guys being able to see it inside, but it's the same steps, buttons, strap. But we'll unzip this so you can see the space. I'm gonna take it off completely here and fold it up. Move that out of the way. So for lighting purposes, I'm also gonna move the second door, uh, second annex piece. You just unzip this, tuck it over, slide it out of the way, and it's still attached fully on the outside. So while you're at camp, you can you know, open up your space without totally taking your doors off. So as you can see in here now, we, have, we still have that space underneath and we have the second platform that has mattress and blanket. There's enough room up here as well to leave pillows and a little bit more bedding. And with that, you just push your bed out of the way. Bedding's fine to stay there. And you have all this walkable space with or without the cabinets on the bottom. It all works the same. The camper just mounts on top of these rails here. So most trucks, no eight foot beds, but everything else we should have you covered. And that's the basic function of the camper. As far as options go, uh, we have things like this solar kit here. Uh, Dirt Circuit provided us, we have this 200 amp hour lithium battery, which is running through our custom made electrical panel. That has a wagon DC to DC charger, which is connected to the alternator as well. So every time you're driving, you get power. And then from the 480 watt solar we have on the, on the roof, you're getting a charge from that all day as well. So we're running a uh, dual zone fridge here and I'm charging a one wheel and we ran the heater last night. So there's plenty of power to do whatever your uh, comfort basics might be while you're camping. Let's check out some things on the outside here. So you saw the table set up with the table um, that leaves you space on your L track here, which is standard on any camper to put whatever else you might want. So ax, shovel, gas, fire extinguisher, propane, you name it, we can, we can mount it. And above that, you'll see we have an exterior light as well. That's part of our electrical package. There's interior lights and exterior lights. And then awnings. We have multiple different awnings you can put on top. And I got another pretty cool one over here I could show you. This is a quick one. So if you just get to camp and you want a, a quickie, you can pull this out. Give that a crank and you got some shade. If you're just stopping on the side of the road for lunch, it's perfect. And a couple of facts to go with that is the camper itself is only 300 pounds. Uh, of course, the battery and that sort of thing adds a little bit more, but the base weight of a base model camper is 300. And you can put up to 600 pounds on the roof in a stationary position and it'll lift with about 100. So you can put kayaks or a bike without a problem on the top. And then as far as pricing goes, we start at $89.99 for midsize and $99.99 for a full-size truck. Then we can build you up from there and figure out what package is best for you. If you'd like to find more information about us, visit HarkerOutdoors.com. Check us out on Instagram at Harker Outdoors or Facebook as well. Uh, we have a ton of YouTube videos out there for more details. And uh, that's about it. Hi, Nino Vanich here uh, with Explorer Elevated. We're here at the Overland Expo of Mountain West. Uh, showing off and really just unveiling our new truck top camper. Our unique design allows us to integrate the locking system into the central locking system of the vehicle. So you can take your Toyota vehicle here, you just use the key from the vehicle, you can lock and unlock. So here it locks the uh, latch, unlock the truck, it unlocks your panel here. You take a look at the inside, we've made uh, these honeycomb holes on the side panels for you to attach your, uh, your gear without taking the space of your truck bed. We utilize a Toyota bed rack mounting holes to hold the, camp, the camper down. It's a really unique design by Toyota and we w wanted to uh, add to that without having to add additional mounting hardware to the truck. The back panel itself, you can get one with a window or without. Torque Locker uh, opted for one without, um, just so that they can keep their gear protected uh, without having people walk by and, and checking out what they have. On the inside, you have this full standing space. Uh, you've got a, a, a sliding panel that goes in and out uh, for the bed. The X-Ped uh, four inch mattress is included with the camper. Really easy to manage. You kind of just pull this back pops down and now you have this space to get up in and out without disturbing your partner that's up here. The mattress kind of just folds back and when you're not using your mattress, pop it up here 
and slide away. You have uh, side pockets up front to hold some gear, also front vents to allow some airflow. As for the exterior of the tent, we have our custom design extrusion. Um, it allows water to hit the tent, come down, go into the extrusion, and exit through the gutter holes here in the back and in the front. With that, it is a four season tent. You're able to use it in the snow, you're able to use it in the rain, and uh, 100 de degree weathers. You go to our website, exploreelevated.com, um, and visit us on Instagram as well, Explore Elevated. You know, we're looking to enjoy the product with our customers. And so, you know, in the future, we're hoping to have planned trips and, and be able to go out and explore uh, with, with our customers. Hey guys, Jason Bontrager with Skinny Guy Campers. We're in uh, Overland Expo West, and we're hanging out with Tav and Method Wheels here at the, uh, at the, at the Expo. All right guys, here we have the model 6.5 Skinny Guy Camper. Our product is uh, completely made of aluminum and stainless steel, 1 8 inch aluminum, and uh, the bed platform and everything is all made that way. And the reason we use aluminum and stainless is because there's so many element, there's so many environments in the world where you, there's corrosion that occurs, salt water, and, and we never know where our customers are gonna take the product, so we wanted to design the product that way. Uh, the model 6.5, is one of seven models that we've we've created. Model 4.5 all the way up to model 8.0. We've designed a camper for every single bed length that's out there. This one is a 6.5, which means it's a six and a half foot model. It fits anything with a six and a half foot bed. All right, we're in the model 6.5 um, here at Overland Expo West. And again, I just wanna walk around on the inside real quick. It's not a lot of room to walk, but we did try to build as much space inside as possible. So one of the one of our best features and you're not going to find this really in most truck bed toppers. We have a toilet built inside of our camper. This is called the Primolu. The toilet here is a permanently installed uh, toilet with a black tank below. Uh, this model has roughly 20 gallons of black. And then we also have a macerator, which a macerator, if you think of, um, if you don't know what that is, think of a garbage disposal for your, your, your sanitary system. So kind of gross, but it's really nice in that you can exhaust the black tank through a, a, a normal garden hose. Also inside here you get all kinds of storage, blankets, clothes, pillows. There's also this compartment here which has our optional water filtration system. Another feature that we have inside is the tabletop. It's a great way to sit down with your loved one or your kids and eat lunch or whatever you'd like. So when the camper folds open, <clears throat> the mattress is, has buckles that hold it in place so the mattress never has to come out. Our current standard mattress is foam, but there's optional inflatable mattresses out there. This one is already set up to be slept in. It touches like this, this marine mat that we have. It's a great way to give you a nice soft surface on the inside. Uh, we also have a drain in the floor. We've designed this in such a way that you could take a shower inside. And then you also have interior lighting. You have a light at the top. We also have base lights, base cabinet lights. These are all touch activated and they're dimmable as well. We also have a water pump built in. So our top two trim levels both have the the basement. That's where all of our tanks live. That's where our water tanks live, our fresh water tanks, our black tanks live if you get the Primo Lou. That's also where our water pump is located <clears throat> and where our macerator is located. This switch here activates the water pump and that'll pump the water from your fresh tank up to the sink and also to your shower point into your toilet. We also offer the Truma Combi heater and water heater. The propane tank um, that we have, a 20, 20 pound propane tank, you can last anywhere from three days um, up to about six days. Just depends on how much gas is used as you're uh, camping. We also have a refrigerator that we build into the product. So when, the, when everything collapses down, that sets right here in the doorway area. And then the cooktop and sink comes down below. You gotta unhook all the, the water um, and the gas fittings and the electric sensor for the Truma. But once you get that all unhooked, that all sets here. But when you're at camp, all that lifts up and then fastens to the front. Going back to the Truma, so once the cooktop comes down, and you're on the road, there's no way that the Truma can run and, and ignite the Truma or anything like that. So that's a safety feature that we built in. Over here, we have a small pantry. We also have some nice little storage pockets and you get ample storage up here. The nice thing about that cabinet is you have the door on the outside. So um, I just open that outside door and start putting my groceries in there. Uh, we have an internal USB charging port there. It also has a uh, readout of the battery voltage. On the inside of that storage compartment is where we have a battery uh, location. So all the fuses are located in there, the breakers. Um, on the outside here as well is the Red Arc Manager 30 control. So here you can see how much battery power you have, the percentage 
whether the solar panel is charging or not. The cool thing about our 190 watt solar panel and the way we've designed the roof and the camper, you get charged as you're going down the road. <clears throat> and then once you open the camper roof, the solar panel actually flips out again. So you get charged as you're at camp. So whether you're at camp or in travel mode, it'll, um, you'll get charged. On the opposite side, we do have a 110 volt port that um, you can plug in your camper when you're at home or somewhere else if you need charge or to a generator and you can uh, you can charge your system that way too. The sleep structure, these bows are made of stainless steel. We went with, we went with stainless because we wanted a corrosion resistant, very strong material that would withstand heavy winds. So we've been out as high of as 60 mile per hour winds in this and we've not had any issues. The cables on the sides are assist cables so as the roof is lifted the cables actually extend with the roof so as you open the roof the tent and everything goes with it. The ladder that is at the entryway it's a nice angle so you get a nice flat wide surface angle to, to stand on. We always get the question about air conditioning. Um, we don't have an air conditioner. Uh, Zero Breeze does make a nice air conditioner that could be used in a camper like ours. We've got windows and uh, screens to keep the bugs out. That's great for me. I get a lot of nice air movement uh, as a result of putting the windows down. Obviously, if you're gonna leave camp, keep your, your, your windows closed just in case it rains like a couple days ago. The tent itself, the tent is made from the material called Aqualon. It's water resistant. Um, you do get a little bit of condensation, and that's in general what you're gonna you, what you're gonna have with uh, any soft-sided camper. Um, so it keeps the water out. It's highly durable. It's one of those materials where you poke a hole through, you can't rip it any further. So it's not gonna not gonna tear easily at all. It's spacious. It's aerodynamic. When you're going down the road, it sits right at or slightly above the cab of the truck that we that we designed these for, and um, it's just a pleasure to use. So it's always with you if you want it. You can leave it at home. We're working on a, a more shelled out version of it, which will allow customers to have more gear uh, to be stored inside. But yeah, we're really excited about what we're doing. Our website is uh, skinnyguycampers.com. We're also on Instagram, <coughs> Facebook, and uh, we're on YouTube as well. So yeah, thanks for your time. Hey guys, I'm Kyle with Lone Peak. Uh, we're here at the Moore Expo and we're showing off our new Lone Peak camper. If you guys aren't new to this thing, it's basically a wedge camper. Comes standard with a ton of different features. So we have locking side access doors that open with a single handle. There's dual weather stripping everywhere to keep the elements out. Some of the standard features are a four inch mattress that I'll show you in a second. One of the really cool things about this is that we have a bunch of pass through space. So most wedge campers, the bed, you have to push out of the way or remove panels. It's kind of a pain in the butt. So we actually have 30 inches of space at the end of the camper so you can stand up in and get out of the elements. And then you can actually push the bed out of the way to get even more room. So I'll show you that in just a second. Let me show you a couple different accessories we have for this thing. We have these things called gear vaults that are optional accessories. There's even a table that drops down from the backside so you can prep food if you're inside of the camper. This is an accessory called juice box. And it's basically a lighting controller that turns on light bars inside of the tent and also a tailgate light. So we have a lot of different lighting accessories for this. Go ahead and follow me inside if you can. Another accessory is the bed ladder. So it makes it really easy to get up inside of the bed, but the bed pushes out of the way on gas struts. So if the weather is bad, like yesterday it was here, it was dumping, you can stay out of the elements inside of the camper. So we're making these for a ton of different mid-size and full-size trucks. Go check out the website, lonepeakoverland.com. Retailing for six grand, uh, 11 different accessories you can add. Uh, we have a show special going on right now. So go to the website, fill out our contact form, and you'll actually get the same, same show special giving you a free accessory. Morning, I'm Sean from Tune Outdoor, one of the founders, and I'm here to show you the Tune M1. Here it's on a full-size Ford F-150, and over here we have it on a Tacoma mid-size. So it's a custom backcountry truck camper. It'll fit any rectangular pickup truck, fully customizable. Let me show you some features real quick. First off, all our extrusions are custom. So in this case, the bed extrusion is winged to give some extra cubic space internally. And there's T-slotting on all the surfaces, both inside and out. 
So it's really a, a boon for the do-it-yourselfers. On the F-150, there's over 500 feet of T-slots, every extrusion level, including the roof. So you can do a lot with it. Corner brackets are polymer. First time they've been used in this industry. It's primarily a product that's used for shipping propellers. Extremely strong when tested with the extrusion. The extrusion fails for the polymer when we test it to failure. So it's an extremely durable and strong material. Third big material we're using in our campers is FRP or fiberglass reinforced polypropylene. Incredibly hard. It's both here and on the roof and it won't be damaged by hail. One other thing you'll notice is our full panel glass awnings. This is an option, but a beautiful one. It gives it a nice aesthetic and we weren't able to break it under very rigorous testing, so we brought it to market. Let's step inside. When you come into the Tune, the first thing you're gonna notice is the immense amount of space, especially in the full size. Full queen bed, 60 by 78, so you can sleep east-west. And also in the Tacoma, 72 by 60, it's also a queen. We're one of the only companies that offers a full queen in a mid-size truck. In addition, at the roof level, you've got full interior halo lighting and also coming with our camper, a four inch foam mattress. So it's quite comfortable and ready to go. And the biggest question of all, how much does it cost? For the full size, we start at 14,000. For the mid size, we start at 13. Weight wise, without the glass, this comes in at around 450 pounds and the mid-sized Tacoma is gonna be just below 400. We can serve you on a, on a six week lead time. So if you'd like to see more about the Tune M1, please go to tuneoutdoor.com. Thank you. Hi, I'm Kelsey with Supertramp Campers. We're here at Overland West at 2023. Really excited to talk to you about this collaboration build. So we've got our elevation off-grid truck on the Ram 4500, Bowen Customs bed, and then our flagship LT Supertramp Campers. So here, when you're taking a look at the camper, realize this camper fits in any six and a half foot bed. Uh, and when we're taking a look at it, you'll notice it has this beautiful green color. This is a 3M wrap, and we also offer four different paint colors now. Here at the back, we've got a five gallon gray water tank for our inside shower, and then an exit hose for our five gallon gray water tank for the sink. Molly panel here with a 50 pound rate, weight rating, so you can attach any type of recovery gear. Outdoor rigid light here. And then big fun thing here, is your pull-out drawer for all your gear. Realize we're on 42s here, so this is typically at waist height. We've got our Arctic turn window with the integrated screen and shade. Keyless entry RV lock, and then two 11-pound propane tanks on a pull-out drawer. So one can stay hooked up to the kitchen, and then you can use one for outdoor cooking or just always have a spare. Our big differentiator is the linear actuators that raise the camper up and down in 10 seconds. We've got our proprietary tie-down system here that really simplifies taking on and off the camper with our two fast guns here in the rear. And then we've got our electrical running from the truck battery to the camper. Typically, this is a trolling motor connection, but with this rig, a little different. When we take a look at the side, really showing off the Bowen Customs flatbed. Uh, we really think it's the perfect match for our camper if you're looking to store skis, additional gear. 23-0 awning, 24-gallon freshwater infill, shore power plug-in, Truma Combi Plus plug-in, and then your Truma exhaust. You can really see all the options for your storage with the Bowen Customs bed. He's got a five-foot garage on this one. Typical size is an 18-inch. And then we've got our shower enclosure here. So we're here inside, six foot nine standing height. Big thing is the 360-degree view. Queen-size bed with 32 inches of headroom. Underbed storage for all your clothes and gear. This unit has an AC, so the Dometic RTX 2000. Nice integrated LED units. Storage under each one of these. So this one's about 50 by 21 by 10 inches. This one's got the bunk bed. Flip it up into place. And then we've got two poles that you put in. Storage under here. So this one with the AC unit has 400 amp hours of lithium. Two batteries are tucked in here, two batteries in here. Here are those poles you were talking about for the bunk bed. We've got our zippered mesh, zippered clear vinyl, and our zippered insulated shade. Then in here is the loo. So you've got your portable cassette toilet. You can take that out, hook in our shower curtain, and take an inside shower. Over here, we've got a pull-out cutlery drawer, 
two burner stove, 14 inch sink. And then here are all of our electronic components. So we've got the Truma Combi heater, runs off propane. I really love this unit because it's quiet. We've got one duct here, one duct over here, and then one by the feet. So this runs underneath here and points directly at your 24 gallon freshwater tank. Um, we've had customers camping down to negative 18 comfortably now. 200 amp hours of Battleborn batteries here. All of our electronic components, uh, primarily Victron. Then we've got a 65 liter isotherm fridge, pretty packed right now. Then when you're ready to lower the camper, you simply slide this over and lower it down. So with just a press of the button, the electric linear actuators allow it to lower down. The beautiful thing about our camper is I can still sit in here. I'm five foot nine. We've got a nice infinity woven uh, rug and then you can take that out and you've got a composite floor underneath, power wash it to easily clean it. Fully composite and then aluminum lids. Thanks so much for checking us out. I'm Kelsey with Supertramp Campers. Our website is www.supertrampcampers.com and you can email us at info at supertrampcampers.com or give us a call at 720-724-5788. Thanks so much. Hey everyone, this is Taylor from Anti Shanty. We're here at Overland Expo Mountain West 2023 here in Colorado. We are releasing two new products at this show and we're really excited about them. One of these products is our Dwell Shell. It's our truck camper pop-up pop. It's got included our all hard-sided rooftop tent on there. Um, we actually don't call it a tent because there's no canvas, there's no tent material. Uh, we call it a dwelling because of it's all hard-sided, insulated nature. We really pride ourselves in all the aluminum construction, no wood, no materials to rot or mold. The coolest thing about this, my favorite feature anyways, is the pass-through that you have from your truck bed up to that hard-sided rooftop tent. We're gonna fit it to most any truck, so uh, if you wanna order one, we got the dimensions to be able to do that. I know there's lots of different truck sizes out there, so but we can make it fit you or fit your truck, fit your needs. This is actually coming in around 14,900, which comparable to most other products out there that have the soft sides, it's really similar in pricing. But you get that hard-sided, insulated space, does great in the wind, does great getting wet with snowy weather, winter weather. It's built for four season. Going into the, the back of the truck here, like you see in most truck campers, it's pretty awesome. You can modify this space with benches, seating, coolers, ice chests, freezers, all that stuff. We do have molly kit panel options and cubby space options like storage bins that you can easily access from all three sides. And that's another favorite feature of mine is you have doors on every single side of this thing. So you can access gear from all three sides. But just going up into the top here, you can easily stand, I know you can't see me, change. You have full standing height, and then you can make your bed and uh, yeah, get in here to, to sleep. And then you have all this storage room underneath. It's pretty awesome to be able to still haul gear like a truck and be able to camp like a cabin. If you guys wanna find out more information, just go to antishanty.com. Hey, how are you? My name is Orlando Mastretta. I'm owner and co-founder of Bear Adventure Vehicles. Uh, we're super excited to share some of our work with you. We've been working really hard on a couple production, uh, production ready floor plans. Uh, kind of start with the outside of our shell. We have a external hatch that helps a portable AC. We have a forced air heating, diesel heater. We're using a roto packs uh, to supply that. It's on a quick release. So you can also use that to fill your truck. External propane system that supplies our stove. Coming into the camper, we have a mudroom entry with a bamboo system. This is a wet well that can be fitted with a drain. Uh, so you can shower off in here, you can throw your snow gear in here, you can stomp your snow boots off, and all that can drain out. Coming into the camper, we are a Total Composites vendor for the Southwest region. Great benefit of the Total Composites system is the super insulated wall system and uh, proprietary extrusion system. So there's no thermal transfer in these campers. Uh, it, right now it's hot, sun's beating on this, and it's very cool in here. Uh, so that's a great foundation for our system and we can supply the shell empty so the design it yourself customer can upfit um, or we can upfit to any level inside and so this is kind of our first production weekender model we have a 75 liter dometic dual zone fridge we put in this we have a dakota lithium 280 amp battery so i have a 2000 watt inverter we have dc to dc charging from the truck alternator i have 200 watts of solar um, and solar MPPT chargers. Uh, this is fitted with a Dometic Go, kind of a simple quick release water system. 
We use a full-size kitchen bar sink so you can have a very functional washing station. I have a quick release propane system for a, either the stove can come inside or outside. And we really try to fit as much systems in here very thoughtfully planned out. So I have a portable AC that can live stationary because I have an outside hatch that you can just hook up the ducts to so you don't actually have to move this and you can run it in place. And underneath there's an option for a uh, small Dometic toilet or this is a Torino compostable separating toilet. Um, or you can just throw some snow boots in there and let them dry off into the wet well. Lots of storage. We have a big storage compartment under here, uh, 22 inches deep, um, goes past the false floor here. Um, there's also a bed system that will deploy and this whole lower area will turn into a bed. Um, so you can fit a, an adult and a kid very comfortably or a couple of kids very comfortably. The upper bed pulls out into a king. So you can have the king bed deployed. You can also have the queen bed deployed at the same time. Um, very comfortable, four inch mattress, all uh, sprung birch slats, lots of airflow underneath. Um, so it's a very, very comfortable environment. Um, this we have dual coat hanging closets. So there's tons of upper storage. We have an alcove that fits an espresso machine as an option. Underfloor storage hatches. This unit's weighing in about 1,450 pounds. We're pretty happy with how it came out. Thank you so much for coming and taking a look. You can find us at bearvehicles.com. Uh, we'd love to take your call and talk to you about uh, your upcoming camper projects. Thanks so much. My name is Jay Wellman. We build camper shells and we are in Flagstaff, Arizona, where we build these camper shells. They are all aluminum and composite with some wood accents. The idea is the lightest, most functional space we could build on any kind of truck minus, you know, the Chevy Avalanche, any of that obscure stuff. But the idea is working with customers to put windows, hatches, you know, any kind of accessory that they want onto their camper for their end use of camping, whether it's at a KOA or off-road or just in a Walmart parking lot, uh, whatever use they want. So the mid sizes start at about 270-ish pounds. And so that comes to that lightweight, doesn't hit the payload too much and then has a full queen slide out. So any camper has a full queen slide out, whereas the full size trucks have nearly a king size slide out, eight inches wider than a queen. Um, and then you could put bedding up there. And the whole idea back to that functional space is we see a lot of people building really tight cab overs, whereas on ours, we're able to work with the customer to extend dimensions and make things taller. So for taller people or people who wanna leave their bedding in there, uh, they can do just that. So working with the customer, building a functional space that then really is just kind of a canvas for them to change. So we get a lot of people that have done benches, seats, anything that they want to make their space useful for them. They can add insulation um, and it just comes as a blank shell. So if you want to add insulation, add a wall, add a shelf, add a bench, um, you can do that. Some of our popular options are barn door halves, which allow you to be able to stand on the tailgate and then get in. Extra bedding height, hatches for access to the side, flip down hatches that can be used as a counter. We get awning channel, people want awning channel, people want random things mounted on the side. So the idea is just, again, working with customers to figure out exactly what they want, how they want to use their space, and then you know, letting them do what they want with their end product. Uh, currently our lead times are about five months for fast four months. So our website for Overland campers is Camp O-V-R-L-N-D. In hindsight, I shouldn't have named that because no one can spell it right. And our phone number is 928-433-2030 and we're in Flagstaff. So if you're at the show or we're at the show or at the show next year, we are open Monday through Thursday. Stop by the shop and see everything we make. Hi everyone, Arnold Baker with Overland Explorer Vehicles. We're out of Alberta, Canada. We're here at Overland Expo West. I want to show you quickly one of our products. We've got seven different models. We've got our eighth one coming around soon. This one in particular is our Hudson Bay. It comes in two versions. It comes in an eight footer and a 6.75 foot bed replacement. This one you're looking at is a 6.75 foot bed replacement. But it's still an eight foot floor plan from here the back wall it's eight feet if you go with the eight foot bed replacement it's just a square or a flat back you don't have the kick out which gains you more storage fully composite builds inch and a half panels we're gel coat on both sides of the panel going in we're honeycomb polypropylene 
and the center core is foam, PET made out of recycled water bottles. The exoskeleton, 6063 aluminum, fully bonded construction with adhesive. In interior furniture, all aluminum, fully bonded in place. Wherever you see a metal fastener is where we're doing metal to metal. Other than that, it's fully bonded. The units are also fully isolated uh, using the torque lift Derringer latches, front and back. You got the spring loaded on the on the back, and you got the rubber torsions on the front. But you notice they're also sitting on the camper sitting on rubber feet. So we want this camper to be able to move. So that's why we bond everything together. So we we want to maintain that movement, and that's why we're using the uh, the torque lift Derringers as well. It's sitting atop our aluminum flatbed tray. We call it the Aluma tray, which is also fully isolated from the chassis via urethane isolators. This particular customer has chosen the rear tire carrier, the ladder, and also the molly rack back here. And he's chosen to mount boxes. So the molly panels are designed to surface mount up to 150 pounds. A uh, spare tire carrier is also rated for that as well. The rear kick out back here, if you go with the 6.75 foot, you can also get a molly panel that goes the full width of the camper as well. Or if you don't want to have your spare tire there and you're carrying it underneath in the factory location up to a 35 inch, you can put a molly panel where the spare tire is currently sitting. Then on this side of the camper is where you, you have your uh, exterior shower located right here. Is your shower port so you can shower inside or outside your water fill lockable of course you can also have your uh, shore power as well inside the interior we've got a, a few key features rear dinette folds down into a bed you can also do a gurney bunk above so if you're a family of four you can sleep two adults over the cab in the 60 inch bed which you can also get into a king bed extension if you want to sleep north south and you've got the gurney bunk in the back as an option and then also the dinette folds down Showering inside is easy. Underneath the, uh, your, your feet in the dinette, there is a shower pan that's quite deep. So you're able to stand in there and uh, shower off. There's also an exterior shower as well. The toilet for this unit, uh, we used to house up in this storage cabinet to the right as you enter the camper. Uh, we've now moved it underneath the dinette seat. It's actually on a slide. It slides out from underneath the dinette seat into the doorway. You can either use a cartridge toilet or you can use something like a wrap-on tracker or something like that. Or just a porta potty whatever you want. It come, The slide out comes with the camper. You pick the toilet as an option. 164 liter fridge is standard uh, for 2024. Uh, we'll also offer a 65 liter Dometic uh, compressor fridge uh, for those that want something a little bit smaller. And then you can gain a little bit of some shoe storage underneath it or something like that. Cooktop, dual uh, burner propane. Uh, for 2024, we will be optioning the uh, induction cooktop. Of course, you have the sink. Uh, it, both appliances up there have the fold-down uh, glass top. All of our doors and drawer fronts on the interior are uh, uh, plastic material. And uh, we use that rather than wood because of uh, environmental differences in temperature and humidity. We have more success with, uh, with a polymer product instead. All the furniture inside here, everything you see is all aluminum fully bonded into the interior. We want everything to move. Bamboo countertops, bamboo table, LED dimmable lights, multi-speed fans. You can even get this one with the uh, optional raising auto lift roof with uh, actuators. If you'd like more information on this product or any one of our other products, as mentioned before, we got seven different models. An eighth one is coming uh, for 2024. Van cutaway on a, a cab chassis van. Please visit our website, overlandex.com, or visit uh, our website if you want to talk to one of our dealers. We've got nine dealers in the USA, two in Canada. Uh, those dealers are all listed on the website. Hey guys, what's going on? This is Christian from Rogue Element. You can find me on Instagram at Bears Trail. So today we are here at the 2023 Overland Expo in Colorado Loveland. Behind me, I have my 2021 Jeep Gladiator Rubicon. On top of that, I have my Gaia Camper. It's made out of uh, stainless steel, Camper top takes 30 seconds to pop up and you have your house. I've had this camper for a little bit over a year now and I have enjoyed it so much. I've been able to go out tons of places, do a bunch of camping, don't have to worry about pitching a tent or anything. I could just flip two switches or two levers and I have my tent. It sleeps two comfortably, three pretty good. Has a bunch of attachments and accessories as well. I've been up to about 50 mile per hour winds it withstands it, it's a great tent, no problems at all. Waterproof, snowproof, dustproof, great tent. 
Uh, if you want to come with me, I'll show you a little bit of inside. So it has three panels here. So you have your rear door, you have your left side and your right side. It comes with Velcro panels as well. So in the summer times, if it gets too hot, you don't have to close the whole thing. You're able just to open the side panels, has a fly trap as well. So you don't have to get any mosquitoes, any of that fun stuff inside. And once you step on inside, you have three panels where you can lift up the largest one serves as a table and you have your two rear panels which you can lift up and you're able to stand up fully i'm 5'5 five five on a good day so i fit perfectly fine <laughs> if you're taller than that you'll still fit perfectly fine as well uh, sleeping platform is great it's comfortable you have four windows you have your window on your left side your right side and your rear window they give you a full panoramic view so if it rains or snows you don't have to be trapped in your conventional rooftop tent all you have to do is pop up your panels inside and you're good to go hang out in there all day. Uh, I was trapped in some snowstorms before when I've gone snowboarding in Northern California and I just popped up the Gaia camper and I was living comfortably. With their new setup here, you have the overhang for the back. So like I said, if it gets hot, you could attach this here, bring these panels down, open the windows, and now you have an additional sleeping platform as you see here. You could sleep two more adults comfortably as well or if you want to set this up, set this up as a kid area, you're more than welcome to. For me, no kids, but I do have my dog, so she sleeps down here pretty comfortable. I'll set her dog bed up. Meanwhile, I'm sleeping upstairs. So if you guys are searching for a new pop-up style of a camper, you guys can head over on Instagram at Gaia USA or find us on Rogue Element Adventure. And from there, you can see our product. It's a fairly new company. It's a South Korean based company, which we are helping them make their way to the US market. Highly recommend these campers. Check them on out. Hi, I'm Kelsey with Supertramp Campers, and we're talking about the Megatron. So this is the next unit in our fleet. We've got an Elevation Off-Grid F550 truck here, completely the Lariat package here with 40-inch tires. Then we are bringing the camper to market. So there will be a large pass-through into the space, taking everything that we like about the flagship, the 360-degree views, and amplifying it on a different level. So queen-size bed with storage on each side, or you can do a king-size bed kitchenette running along this large window here with a two burner induction cooktop, 200 liter fridge freezer with the isotherm, and then we also have a seven in one microwave induction air fryer unit. In the rear, you're gonna have a large booth that has access to the garage inside or outside, and then storage around the top. The big thing is, is we wanted to feel light and airy, just what you guys like from our flagship unit and carrying it on to this next unit. Also with the F550, you're still going to have payload. So if you're towing a boat, toys, anything along those lines, you can also do that. The liquid spring suspension provide the drive that you're really going to be impressed with. Uh, I regular the F250. I was a little nervous to take on the F550 and I was absolutely blown away. The turning radius with this girl is fantastic and the drive that the liquid springs provide is amazing. I'm excited for you folks to check it out. Thanks so much. I'm Judd Newman. I'm the president of Nimble Vehicles. Uh, Nimble Vehicles is located in Northern California, not far from Lake Tahoe. We are proud to show you today our Nimble Evolution. This is our latest Nimble Evolution that's in front of us. So first and foremost, the Nimble Evolution is designed to be able to go off-road for extreme periods of time. Unlike traditional truck campers where you can go off for maybe a couple days, you can go in the Nimble Evolution for over a month depending on your water and fuel source and food. As long as you have everything, we're ready to go with you. The water capacity in the Nimble Evolution is 75 gallons, but the cool thing about it is we have a UV filtration system that will allow you to kill bacteria in any kind of ground water that's pumped. So if you're near a river, you have unlimited water. We have over a thousand amp hours of lithium iron batteries and over a thousand watts of solar. What does that mean? It means you can be out for really extended periods of time. Heating wise, this thing is really a true four season camper. Uh, it has a high altitude Robosto heating system in it that will allow you to literally have the doors open at 14,000 feet in the winter time and stay warm. That's important. So that being said, it is a highly customizable camper. Each one is a little bit unique and different. We look to find out what's important what's really important to the buyers, to the people that are going to be utilizing this. So the Nimble Evolution will get you to the destination and the types of experiences that you really want to do. 
a lot of people are outdoor enthusiasts. They have mountain bikes, they have kayaks, they have paddle boards, uh, even motorcycles that they uh, bring along on both sides of the front and back uh, towing. So it has a lot of different utilizations and capacities. We build the Nimble Evolution on any one ton or greater pickup truck. Um, We've got some great partnerships. We have a great partnership now with American Expedition Vehicles, AEV, that's building on their new Dodge Prospector. Um, so we're really excited about that. I'm gonna show you a couple little features and things like that and show you a little bit about the inside with not too much depth. But the main thing is this is a vehicle that will allow you to go anywhere. It's truly have the freedom to roam. So I was mentioning about our electrical system a few minutes ago. We use uh, Battleborn batteries. Uh, they're our local partner in the Reno area. They have an incredible lithium ion battery system along with uh, all matching Victron components. Uh, this particular uh, camper has a 3000 watt inverter in it and uh, DC to DC charger, tons of solar like I said. It really will allow you to have unlimited power. The gentleman that owns this camper just bought it. He's a world famous photographer and he's planning on taking this to the uh, Antarctica and down to Patagonia uh, in a couple months. So he needs to have the ultimate power sources to be able to get done what he needs for his photographic uh, endeavors. Tons of storage as you can see. We have storage every place, just tons of room. The Nimble Evolution is uh, similar to what uh, the design that goes into building a yacht. It's what we call a monocoque construction. It's one solid piece of glass together, fiberglass and or carbon fiber. About 25% of the camper is carbon fiber. We do full carbon fiber builds as well. It just makes it lighter and stronger uh, for those extreme off-road applications. It is a pop-up, so as you can see, it's fully lifted up at the moment when it's down. And the reason we call it nimble vehicles is an extremely nimble vehicle. This is a much smaller platform that allows you to navigate the twisty kind of back mountain switch backs that you'll find in a, a lot of uh, the western United States. This back storage area here goes all the way out. It's over eight feet. You can put skis in here. You can put fishing rods, even some golf clubs, a few other things, whatever you can possibly imagine. Outdoor shower, beautiful awning out here. A lot of people will take this and use this as an outdoor cooking area also. Put a grill out here, propane or uh, gas, whatever you want, and they use this to cook and use this as their outside kitchen. Of course, there's a full kitchen inside, tons of water. We have a shower out here, water hookups, tons of other power and stuff like that. Well, we're inside the Nimble Evolution today, and this is a new customer's uh, demo. So we do in a lot of customization inside of each vehicle. This one, he did Ford Velocity Blue, so it's got more of a marine uh, kind of tone to it with white leather, but we do all kinds of a customization, lighting, floors, etc. One of the really cool things about the Nimble Evolution is our shower system. We have a full shower and bath. You instantaneously have a full shower available at a moment's notice and of course a full toilet. Underneath the bed here, there's enough storage for all your needs. We actually include custom luggage with each camper as well. Great air conditioning system. We use a Dometic 12 volt air conditioning system in here and it is amazing. We'll definitely keep you cool. Big bay windows all the way around. It almost has like a tree house effect when you're this high up in the sky overlooking a beautiful mountain pass. Big refrigerator, microwave, all the kind of amenities you can imagine, including really state-of-the-art sophisticated electronics that allow you to measure your battery capacity, your solar, uh, your water levels, anything that would be required to uh, create a sense of home you have right here electronically right in front of you as well as you can uh, access the same information right off your smartphone so if you really do have all those extra little things that are important to you to have something be a home away from home you can bring it along with tons of room lighting incredible um, I won't turn it on right now, but the lights have all kinds of different ambiance and mood lighting and everything else you can possibly imagine so it's pretty pretty cool there's a lot more uh, technical features but I thought I'd at least give you a general sense of what the nimble evolution was like 
thank you for joining us. NimbleVehicles.com, just like that, pretty straightforward. And uh, my name is Judd Newman, I'm the president of Nimble, and I look forward to speaking with you. Thank you. Hey guys, my name is Jags. We're here at Pacific Northwest Overland Expo. We're here to show you a quick walk around of Packout Campers and what has to offer. Our frame is made out of extruded aluminum, which is inside and out is mounting points. If you close this right now, the two gullwing windows, you can mount two full-size mountain bikes. And then also our panel, we offer free gastro upgrades. It really depends on how much weight you want to carry on this side. And also we have a small little accessories right here, which is called a slot table. You can use it also inside and outside. All you have to do is slide it on this side, move it to the other side, and use the same exact strap to go inside. So let's hop in and go inside. So we're gonna talk about our sleeping platform. Um, our floor right now is gastro assisted. So when you're ready to sleep, all you have to do, you have this guy right here, and then you enter from this side, you're ready to sleep. We're on a three inch foam mattress. You can leave all your bedding, your pillow, no problem, you can still be able to close it. Pull this one up. Now, you have a working table. You can use it right here. Same exact on this side. Close that guy. Move that foam. And also you have a working table, the same exact side. Now, let's go to other accessories. You have Molly panel. We also have on our, on our going window. We have our slot table. Same, you can use it either outside or inside. Same exact strap. Now we're also our camper cubby, as we call it. This is our version four, but the final will be powder coated and ready to go. You can use one cubby window, two or four all around the camper. And also for the tent, right now, this setup is our summer setup, which you have three wide open windows, best for views they can do. On winter, we also offer insulated sidings. Website is www.backoutcampers.com. Hey there, I'm Melanie with Four Wheel Campers. I'm at Overland Expo, and I'm gonna tell you a little bit about our campers. Uh, we make three different types of campers. One is a topper, it's called the Project M. The Project M is really great because it's still a truck and there's lots of space for customizing your build. Um, this one you see here is super customized by the customer. They've added a deck system and they have their own setup in there, which is really, really cool, but you can also keep it simple, use it for work, use it to haul gear, a uh, really great option if you really still need a truck to use. Uh, the next one that we're going to talk about are our slide-in campers. So in any of our campers, we have them for pretty much any type of truck, any size of truck. Um, our slide-ins, they are what it sounds like. They slide into the bed of the truck. And those, you can also get them very simple, like a base model, or you can get them fully featured with a toilet or a shower. Um, we also have a full range of battery, lithium, solar options to help keep things powered up. Our last type of camper are flatbed campers. So for a flatbed camper, you remove the bed of your truck, you add a tray, and then the camper gets attached to that tray. Those are really great because you get the full width of the truck. There's a ton of space, um, all the same great features, big beds, refrigerators, water systems. So lots of options, lots of ways to customize it, uh, and a great way to go outside and enjoy what's out there. If you'd like more information, uh, head on over to fourwheelcampers.com. You can build your own camper there, check out all of the specs and pricing, and we hope to see you out on the trail. Hey everyone, Michael with the Auto Equipment here, showing off our interior system. What we have is a modular system, so we choose between benches, fridge slides, drawers, and cubbies and then you build it around what you want your system to be. So we start with the plate, which is made out of Baltic plywood. It's really great because you can just screw straight into it, use mounting T-nuts, everything like that. Really easy to clean out your camper, gives you a second base. And then from there, we mount in our drawers and interiors, so you can store all of your goods. And then the nice thing about the modular system is when you get it, you can essentially put anything wherever you want it. Typically, we go with a bench and a drawer system. This particular client wanted to have a big fridge in the back, so he moved his bench system up and put his battery system underneath. It's completely modular, up to you, super easy to install and ready to go. So these drawers and cubbies can either slide towards the aisles, slide out, any way you want to face them, and they fit any size truck. We make them standard and they can fit to your truck. 
build out with basically any camper system on the market. So the drawers are an aluminum construction. We chose that over wood because you don't lose any of the space due to the thickness. It has the same strength as wood, eighth inch versus three quarter. So you get a half inch, half inch, you're saving about two inches overall on the whole system. Lots more volume, extremely lightweight. This whole system right here weighs about 130 pounds. Super easy to install, really easy to use. If you have any questions for us, you can find us at viatoequipment.com or at Instagram at Viato Equipment. Thanks, and I look forward to your build. Hi there, I'm Gary Conley from Lance Camper Manufacturing, and I'm here to show you our lovely truck campers on an F-350 Crew Cab Dually. So first of all, why a truck camper? The best thing about a truck camper is that it can separate from the actual vehicle. So therefore, you have the versatility to drop your camper, have basically a base camp, and be able to still explore, especially with a four-wheel drive diesel. The other thing about a truck camper is there's no licensure on a truck camper. So if you're considering a Class B motorhome and things like that, the cost of ownership is a lot less for a truck camper. You don't have to have additional insurance either because normally the insurance is covered by your truck insurance with, because you're just basically hauling the truck camper. It's an easy removal process. So you can see here these are torque lift fast guns. Basically pull a pin, take it off, lower your jacks with a remote control, and basically you're off and running. The other thing that basically happens with this is that if you do set this up as a base camp, um, all your propane tanks, things like that are removable so they can be filled and uh, refilled by just going out and exchanging tanks and whatnot going forward. So anyways, this here's our Lance Campers and why don't we go inside and take a look at what we have. So again, we're here at the Overland Expo and you can see we got a little dirt. We had a little bit of rain here the last couple of days. But some of the features that exist on the Lance Camper is one that has great towing capacities. Um, basically, you can tow up to 16 to 20,000 pounds depending on what, you, what your truck's capabilities in addition behind your truck camper. So your truck camper is your original toy hauler. So if you have, uh, you know, whether it's quads, um, side-by-sides, um, whatever your activity is, th those can change and you still have huge towing capacities without reducing your um, basically GVW of the actual truck like other vans and things would have. So inside here we have a propane power generator, uh, you have two lithium 100 amp batteries inside here as well, full solar on the roof, you also have two electric awnings on both sides um, coming through. You have nice storage going through the center here that pulls out and you can see here this is a remote control to be able to take the camper on and off. Nice thing about this, the truck camper doesn't have an odometer. So therefore, from a depreciation standpoint, that doesn't exist with a truck camper. So you can change out your vehicles, whereas just a little over half your expense is actually the truck and the camper you can maintain for years. Ironically, we have, we've had over six people that have showed up here that have campers that are over 20 years old that are Lance products. So again, let's go inside and take a look. All right, one of the great features about our Lance campers is that we have a queen size bed. It is a true 60 by 80 bed. That's incorporated in all of our truck campers that we build. Um, you have, as you can see here, we have plenty of headroom uh, to sit up on the bed. Some features that are included in here. One is the new Truma. Some things that happen with air conditioners is basically noise. So having the new Truma air in here, it's one of the quietest air conditioners that actually exist. You can see here as I step down, you're going to have a full sofa. This model is also available with chairs as well. You also have a drop down bunk for additional sleeping or it can be used for long item storage. So if you have fishing poles, long items, you can basically pull the bunk down, access it right through the side here and you're done. You can see here there's tons of storage inside of this truck camper. As you pull through, trash cans, lots of storage. This is only a nine foot, even when you get to the side here with pantry, more drawers, more storage. Um, we utilize, you know, a lot of um, our space very intelligently um, throughout the product. So if you're looking for something that everything has its place, this model, the 960, which we're in right now, is a very value um, storage capable um, RV. So again, Lance Campers has been in business since 1965. We've been building truck campers. We're one of the original um, Overland type of products. 
And um, if you're looking for a quality product that'll last you for many, many years, uh, please come out and check out Lance Campers at www.lancecamper.com. My name is Gary Conley. Thanks for watching. Look forward to seeing you soon. So my name is Sirka Poliacek and I started brand new business theoretically one year ago for building parts and accessories for power wagons and 2500 rams, 3500 rams. And on this uh, uh, power wagon, I actually built front bumper, rear, rear bumper, bead locks, front axle control arms, camper shell, uh, some electronic stuff, completely solar system, water tanks under the cap. The main focus on everything is the camper shell because it's aerodynamic and it's a stealth camper with the extended storage uh, boxes on the back so it's mostly like a survival vehicle you know when you're building truck you're looking online also or on youtube how people do stuff so when you learn from youtube how to not do it you do it different way than everybody so i also designed my own latches my own uh, locking system for the uh, swing arms so theoretically whatever i don't have to buy i make my own we have a so far website, uh, tivole.co, and we also have YouTube channel Tivole and Instagram Tivole Fabrication. So you can contact us on the email tivole.offroad at gmail.com. My name is Quade Sheehan. I'm the owner of Overland Adventure Truck. We're based out of Olympia, Washington, and here, we're here enjoying the uh, 2023 Pacific Northwest Overland Expo. So at Overland Adventure Truck, we started our uh, business based on LMTVs and FMTVs. And as you can see right here, we've got our subframe mounting system points. And that's really what got us started. And basically that elaborated into building total composites, uh, composite shells, building torsion-free flatbeds, and all sorts of custom solutions to meet expedition vehicle travel demands. So as you can see, we've got these fancy steps here. These are all custom made in house. Uh, we build custom flatbeds, but this one is not one that we built. We did, however, build this shell in a fully outfitted interior that's uh, ready to be delivered to the customer. So this camper here was designed entirely based upon a couple's needs. They have two children, three years old and five years old. So their goal was to have enough space to where their children could not only sleep um, initially on this base level bed where if we remove this lagoon table mount and then unclip this latch over here, this whole bed structure or bench will slide out and then the cover or the padding cushions from the bench will sit down here and now we have a full bed space. Once the children are a little bit older and don't want to share the bed anymore, now we've got some reinforced points of attachment up on these wall sections where the client's going to put in what's called a pipe berth or essentially a, a suspended cot. Um, over on this side, they're gonna put some climbing holds up here for some fun ways to climb up. And um, then once uh, sleeping time's over, the bench goes back in, the table gets reinstalled, and then they have plenty of room for their whole family to sit around the table while they're preparing meals, getting ready for skiing, uh, mountain biking, whatever adventures are in store. To go along with this whole interior, we've got 20 removable gallons of fresh and gray water. Uh, that way there's easy winterization, um, as well as being able to fill uh, the jugs anywhere necessary that you can't get a hose to. We've got a Dometic refrigerator right here, this whole thing is powered by a 400 watt solar power system that feeds into a goal zero. Um, as of right now, this is probably one of my favorite build layouts that we've done because for the footprint of this, of only six and a half feet, this camper feels massive inside. So whether it's a composite camper or a subframe mounting system, uh, we are all about custom solutions to design a camper that's gonna be right for you. So, if you need custom cargo boxes and articulating flatbeds or stairs, anything, please tell us your needs. We'll try our best to make it happen. You can find us online at overlandadventuretruck.com or on Instagram, uh, Overland Adventure Truck. Thanks for stopping by. I'm Reed Gertis with Wolf Riggs, and uh, I built a uh, Overland vehicle on a Humvee chassis. So why a Humvee? Well, it can four wheel anywhere, and it's not a, uh, it has, much better departure and approach angles than a, a Sprinter van. So we were gonna build Sprinter vans, but decided we wanted to build something a little more capable. So 
here it is, the Wolf Rig. The exterior, I wanted it to be, you know, just, I wanted it to be tough, I wanted it to be simple. I wanted it to be something that could go anywhere. So we actually replaced all of the drive line. We replaced the engine, we replaced the, uh, all the drive uh, shafts and half shafts. And we moved the brakes from the inner uh, section to the outer wheels, which is, you know, kind of one of those things that is needed to happen to be on the highway. So the outside is super tough and the inside is super bougie is the best way to put it. So uh, it's kind of a yin and a yang. So I've had a lot of people say they, they weren't expecting that when they walk in. So let's go inside. So this is the interior. And as you can see, it's, it, it feels more like a home than it does like an RV or a lot of uh, overland vehicles. So we have plenty of storage on either side of the shower. So these are actual teak doors, they roll up. We have drawers that slide out. We also have baskets that come out. We also have under the, the uh, countertop storage and it goes all the way down to the floor. So when you're traveling and you're on a real steep uh, departure angle, you don't have stuff flying on in the head. Another nice feature in this is that the shower is nice and big. I'm 6'1", kind of a big guy, and uh, I didn't want to have to take a shower with my toilet. So we have a system where it goes in and out of the wall. And I can take a shower without having to have my toilet in my shower. So that's one very nice thing that we have. So you get your sink over here. You have your cooking area over here. We have a fridge and freezer. We have more storage uh, upper and lower and underneath the cabinet. We do uh, run a uh, 12 volt AC system, 22,000 BTU, uh, makes this thing into an ice box. It's a little loud sometimes, so I turned it off just right now, so it's getting warm in here. <laughs> uh, we do have an R13 value and everything. The whole cab is really designed to have every, all the systems inside versus uh, having anything exposed to the elements. So you can go extreme heat and extreme cold in this either way. So you have a galley kitchen, nice bench seat. We normally have a lagoon table that sits in here and, and it floats around on wherever you want to have it. And then we also have a queen size bed. So the storage back in the back is really designed to put all the stuff that uh, you just need. Like we, you know, we have the uh, generator back here. We also have the lava, lava box, but we also have the dead man rope to be able to pull you out of uh, different situations. The winch in the front is actually a 24,000 pound winch. So 25,000 pound winch runs on 24 volt, excuse me. So also the tire comes down on a winch I can have my 100 pound girlfriend, wife, uh, change the wheel uh, while I'm inside having a cocktail. And uh, this comes down to be your, uh, for your tools. And you got uh, some extra fuel and your ladder and your shovel. That's pretty much it. So we're at, uh, on Instagram is the best way to find us. It's Wolf Rigs USA. But you can also go to our website, wolfrigs.com uh, and check everything out that I just told you about on the rig. Hey everyone, Michael with Over Designs here showing off our brewing camper. What that is, is a hybrid hardwall system. You get all the benefits of the hardwall, so that's great in the wind, easy to set up. All it takes is one person standing on the tailgate to lift it up and close it down. It takes about 10 seconds each way. All the corners have a fabric that you can zip up to seal from the elements and zip down to get a nice mesh so you get a great through breeze. What we have here is on a Chevy Colorado and then we custom make the bases to fit whatever size truck you have. We have standard tents so they can go on. We have an eight to 12 week lead time. We're out of uh, San Diego, California. And then on the inside, what you can see is we have a lot of different options so far as windows, pop out walls go. We have barn door options. It's a queen size mattress, four inches of memory foam. You can leave all your bedding in place and then we have a huge accessory list that includes molly panels, bug screens, insulation kits. Basically, whatever kind of camping you like to do, we like to offer something that will help you uh, have the best experience possible. Let's take a look inside. So inside the camper, you have about two and a half feet of space, and then you can sit in here, you can get up and not wake anyone up in the middle of the night. The really nice thing about the full pop versus a wedge camper is you sleep with your head towards the front of your truck. That way you don't need to spin around if you need to get down for any reason. We have four acrylic windows on each sides of the walls, two in the front, two in the back, one on each side. That allows for a lot of visibility, great light. You have a 360 degree view so that you can see everything around you. We offer a fan option. It's a push pull fan. So you can actually pull air across yourself while you're sleeping. Like I said, it's a four inch memory foam queen size mattress and leave all your bedding in place. All we ask is that you put your pillows to the middle so the walls don't hit them when they fold down. So we have sliding bed and lift up bed options that allows you to fully utilize the bed of your truck up until basically the front of a five foot bed. Tons of vertical space. The sliding bed, you get the full vertical space. It's a tri-fold mattress so you can actually fold up. Basically leave all your bedding in place. You won't have to be remaking your bed because it's a queen size mattress. You can use your standard sheets from home. If you want to find more information out about us, you can find us at odordesignsusa.com or on Instagram at odordesignsusa. Feel free to reach out. We'll answer any questions you have.
Thanks, and I'll see you the next time. I'm Vincent, out of uh, Montreal, Canada, soon to be moving to Fruta, Colorado, and I make the way out system. The uh, way out system base is a flatbed that is uh, f fully bolted using uh, T-slot extrusions, and uh, uh, you can we ship it and you self-assemble it. Uh, the starting price on the flatbed is $2,800, making it uh, way cheaper than any solution out there for uh, flatbeds. There are uh, options for uh, fold down sides and stairs to go up and it can be, there's a multiple attachment point, as many as you wish because of the T-slot section. And on it we have the uh, way out camper which is um, every service possible, uh, aisle comfort in a tiny package. The fully equipped version is uh, only a thousand pound and when it's dry it's 450 pounds. At the back we have a, a tray, a fridge, heater, AC, full-on water system and water heater and a uh, sleeper area is seven foot by four by five and it's made fully insulated it's made to be as comfy as possible for you to get out of the element allowing you to sleep uh, good and look forward to another night of good sleep allowing you to handle the weather of the day like yesterday that was raining here at the overland expo mountain west compact it does not affect or barely affects the off-road capability of the vehicle it's placed on and um, it's just self-contained tiny little camper. The uh, website is uh, wayoutbox or wayoutcamper.com. Uh, we're also on Instagram at uh, wayoutbox and same for uh, Facebook. Hey, I'm Chris. Uh, I'm with Topo Toppers, and today I'm going to show you around our Mesa camper shell. The Mesa is our wedge style camper shell. It's constructed fully out of 1 inch, 1 8 inch aluminum all around, stainless steel hardware. It comes in weighing at only 230 pounds base weight. We have a number of options available for windows, these cargo side access doors that we make in-house. We also feature a number of window options on your camper shell as well. A uh, little bit about the uh, dimensions of the camper shell. You have a six foot, eight inch sleeping platform. That's the length and the width on a full size truck such as the Tundra is 52 inches. It tapers down to 50 inches. We have two sliding bed panels. You could slide them back and create kind of a bench situation inside the camper shell. You can also remove those so you can stand up and utilize the full interior of your truck bed. The canvas is a Weathermax 80 marine grade uh, tent canvas. The roof is a single sheet of formed aluminum. We also offer L-Track options for bike racks and whatnot or side uh, gear storage. We offer a lighting package inside as well. Everything is designed, fabricated, and assembled out of our shop in Ventura, California. Uh, you get a two-year warranty on the camper shell. You get a 10-year warranty on the tent canvas, and then we followed manufacturer's warranty. We use Turn Overland windows um, for our window options, so you follow the manufacturer's warranty on those. Set up to deploy the tent and to break it down takes about 15 to 20 seconds. So it's a single movement on the front, and uh, that's it. So this is our Mesa camper shell. We're really excited about it, so check us out at topotoppers.com or topotoppers on Instagram. Hey, my name is Jay with Dirtbox Overland. We're out of Denver, Colorado, and we're hanging out at Flagstaff 2023, really already? Wow. Anyway, this is our uh, full-size truck or mid-size canopy tent camper setup. We've got it on a brand new uh, Tundra that we just did our own suspension on and whatnot. The most comfortable highway and light overlanding vehicle that we've had yet, especially once we've gotten the suspension tweaked out, which is nice. But basically on this guy, we've got an aluminum canopy camper. Tons of people have a similar thing to it, but what makes ours a fair bit different, weight is on par. We may be one of the lighter or just exactly the same. So it's about 425 to 435, not including the awning. But that includes the bed, that includes all the lighting, that includes the ladder that's inside it and whatnot. But what makes it different is we do a bunch of extruded aluminum all the way around the perimeter and some extrusions running through especially the tent portion, and we do a bunch of tubular work that goes inside of our, our doors. The support 
of the doors is actually kind of a big deal. When you put, we've got l track going through here, and when you start putting your gear on there, they get a little flimsy. So this one's a lot stouter than what you would typically see. Even some of the very high-end ones are a little bit twisty, which is not that big of a deal except for sealing. The reason it's called Dirt Box is because we're trying to keep the dirt out of the box. So we have deep seals through here and really thick on that. So you have a double cam over setup to squeeze that down there and it's adjustable throughout that. So this is just a little deal that could go on the outside. You can hang, it flips up and goes flat, but it's just for storing some of your gear or making a sandwich, whatever you like. And then when you roll around the back, we have got your ladder system that just actually tucks away up in here. Normally it stays stashed right up here and there's a table that flips down. So you've got full use of whatever you want here. In order to climb up, instead of having to make the leap of faith, you just sit there, drop it down. And the ladder itself is wicked light. Like, honestly, I don't think it weighs more than four pounds. So you've got the ladder. We did a nice curve wrong. We shaped it for your feet. So when you're barefoot in here, which is probably what you will be, it's not hurting your tootsies. The bed itself is pretty slick. It does two things. We can either have it stand up like you typically do, where you flip it up through here and it could be then pinned up on the ceiling or you could go ahead and bifold it back and then just keep it out of your way completely which makes it nice for the dance floor <laughs> heavy fabric the fabric is very heavy but not to the point where it adds too much weight to the unit itself we've got illumination through this guy through a little control switch that's on the side which i'll turn on so we've got illumination here we have illumination upstairs and we have controls right up here as well with uh, two USB sockets and a cigarette lighter socket right there as well. This is actually a flip down table. So you can stand here and work on your computer or whatnot. And then you've got the large opening out the back with the awning set up or the rain fly. So that hydraulically tips up. And then what we kind of did a little different with this guy versus the others. The Tundra is, is such a great daily driver car you kind of don't want to have it always loaded down with just your uh, camper setup. So all the controls with our auxiliary lights and everything else on this are controlled through the S-Pod system in here, making it where we have a, a positive negative connection, you quick disconnect, four brackets, the whole thing lifts off and you're back to dad van again, which makes it really nice on that Tundra. The cool thing, because I'm kind of a vampire when it comes, I'm a night person. So right now I've got the lighting turned on, but through here, you touch each one of these guys and it brings it up to full power. And if it's two in the morning and you're tasting tequila thoroughly, you can sit there, hold it on there, and that'll dim it down to a nice, low, gentle glow to hang out for the rest of the night. So that's kind of a nice plus as well. We've got like a little fabric setup that goes in with a rack deal there. So you can store gear in the front, or we have a hard aluminum case that goes in there. I think for this series truck, Keeping it light, keeping it simple is what we chose for this. The other units that are a little more living all the time will have our hard aluminum box in the front. And then on this side, you've got, it's a little more of the same, but storage bags I can hang out through here. You can mount your Jackery. Usually I would, I always suggest like a Jackery 2000 Pro. It fits this nicely and the thing will charge up in two hours. We've got a little 500 in here, which is just running our LED lights and whatnot. Pretty nice there. But another nice little feature, I'll shut this. You could also rivet on molly panels all the way through. There are molly boxes that go in here that'll set in further. So you can put your diesel fired heater, a bigger battery system, EcoFlow, Jackery, whatever, you know, whatever flavor you choose. And then the struts are adjustable in height so you can change the height of this. And if you're somebody who's gonna put a lot of gear on here, we'll go ahead and set you up with a higher um, tension or higher pressure strut to keep it up all extrude aluminum throughout this setup and up through here. And then we go into a really nice, this is a five axis CNC machine uh, hinge point right here, which on the nose of it, it actually carries a really slick marker light. So we've got upstairs LED marker lights. We've got them on the front. We have them in the rear. Those are controlled by the S pod individually. And we could also have them as uh, flashers hazards if you're on the side of the road. We have a third hinge in the center because sometimes what we've seen with people is they'll overstuff too much gear in there, crank down on that thing, and they'll want to try to bulge. So keeping three pivots is pretty important. And we did go a little overkill on the exterior one, but that makes it you know bulletproof for the life of it. Uh, you've got on top of the roof, there's L-Track running full length all the way across. So you can now bolt on any sort of crossbar setup that you'd like. 
uh, for solar panels, for canoe, kayak, whatever type of stuff on there. It just makes it as a nice clean package. We actually, what's interesting is we go with a real small fill space in here. That little bracket doesn't do much. It's a little bit of support, but what we found when we fill that in more is we get more wind noise. So that's designed to let the air kind of flow through and, and keep that all nice through there. And then there's a, a ton of auxiliary lighting that can be mounted on the extruded aluminum. We have some high power amber lights in the nose. Again, that's ran through the S-Pod, which we can run through our phone app. I'm not a big phone app guy, but it is nice to be able to keep those separate on my phone, on my little holder in the car to run that. Then we have auxiliary lighting that's on the Tundra. It stays with it all the time. But overall, a nice package. It's under 11 grand without the awning and, of course, without the Jackery and a few other goodies. But it's a slick deal. And installation and removal, as long as you have the way to lift it off, it is not even five minutes to pull this thing off if you have the capacity to lift it. So if you had a, a hopped up fiberglass top little lift setup on there, you could e easily incorporate that into the lifting eyes that would go on the L-Track and you're good to go. But we've tested this thing, already just got back from the Arctic last month at 46 below. It wasn't this unit, it was the one that was on our Tremor. So we do for the full size trucks as well. 36 below is the sweet spot where the clear plastic on the awning will crack and the struts get too cold. So if you are somebody who's insane and likes to camp at 40 below zero, we know which struts to run and the plastic that we'll choose, which we'll put the plastic across the whole, uh, the whole lineup for that. And then the rain fly unzips, comes off, heavier bars through there. The fabric, like I said, is durable, very heavy, very nice stuff, but uh, not too heavy to cause any major problems with the overall weight. So nice product, Dirtbox Overland, Denver, Colorado. We got the high elevation testing, we got the cold, and we got the heat. It's all there. If you guys are interested for any more information, it's dirtboxoverland.com. So again, dirtboxoverland.com, or give us a call at 888-986-4664, extension three. You will talk directly to me. I answer all of messages that are left behind, and I'll give you all the details you need. Hi, my name is Matthew Landero Van. We're at the Overland Expo in Loveland, Colorado and this is our far out canopy. So what makes this thing unique is that the walls fold down to become two full size beds and it gives you a bunch more room to, uh, to fit all of your gear inside. So if you come over here, you can see there is so much room to put all of your gear in and still have room to sleep in on the two sides. And it can easily fit a family of four and just lots of room for your gear. It is crafted fully out of aluminum and weighs about 675 pounds. This unit right now fits on most six and a half foot beds, six and three quarter foot beds. And we are working on designs for eight foot and mid-size pickups. For more details, visit faroutcamping.com, far-outcamping.com and visit our Instagram, Far Out Camping Co. Hi, I'm Brian Wheat with Alaskan Campers. We're in Flagstaff at the Expo Show, and we've got an eight-foot cab over here. We're solid wall pop-up. Cab over doors fold in, and then the top comes down about 22 inches for aerodynamics, safety, and gas mileage. And you're all solid wall, so warmer in the winter, no noise from the soft sides. We make about five different sizes, six and a half, seven, eight, eight and a half, and 10. And then we also make non-cab over models. And by raising and lowering with the pop-up, we get a full height door where a lot of the soft sides are a shorter door, which is fine, but you gotta crawl up and in them. This gives us a full height RV door. Uh, we have a cassette toilet, which exits here. A uh, 20 gallon horizontal propane tank, water fitting, optional water heater, and then an out exterior shower. Basically, we do a front dinette models. These will flop down into a bed for a second bed besides the cab over. Um, 27 gallons of water, storage underneath here, storage under each seat. Uh, we can go up to a three and a half cubic foot Novacool fridge. Uh, storage all around. We put a door or drawer wherever we can get storage. And these are all high pressure laminate cabinets, solid wood doors. We always like to do that. Single sink, uh, cooktops, you can get an oven if you like. And then the toilet is a nice little cassette in here. Tucks away nicely. And then fuse panels, solar controller, battery meter. Uh, table stores up here on the ceiling, up out of the way if you don't want it here. The, the table just comes down here, goes in this bracket. Uh, pass through window to the cab. And then this is our bigger bed. This is 54 by 81, so six foot nine up there. 
And then these, these doors will just fold down, then the front folds down, then we hit an electric push button, it'll raise up when we pull these safety pins out, and then just flip a letter, just gravity brings down within 30 seconds. Try to use all high quality stuff. We use dual density foam with these actually have springs on them, so there's not a comfortable or couch in this whole expo guaranteed. Uh, any questions, you can call us at Alaskan Campers, 360-748-6494 or on the web, www.alaskancamper.com and emails, alaskan at alaskancamper.com. Uh, thanks. All right. Hi, everyone. My name is Reyes Marietta. I'm with uh, Exploring Still Connected, uh, and you can follow our travels there. But uh, I just picked up my new uh, Kingstar Camino 88 this past Monday, and me and my wife Deidre are, ex are excited to be going on the road full time and living out of this uh, starting in August. Um, so follow along. I'll give you a tour of the camper. The first thing that really stands out is the rear storage. Uh, we have this big garage that hangs off the back. A lot of people says it looks like an outhouse, but it's actually this really cool dry storage. So you can put your snowboards or skis in there. And then you have what they call the uh, rack back here where you're going to be able to put your grill storage right here. And then we have a generator storage on the side. So if you want to follow me around the side, you can see uh, we opted for additional side storage that Kingstar provides. So we went with the 11 foot flatbed build where we have these side saddles for storage. Uh, we work full time still, we work remotely and storage was extremely important to us. So we have these side saddles on the side and then we have this really big garage that we're going to be able to do a full pass through where we can slide our mountain bikes in and out and have that secured storage associated with it. So that's uh, the standout features for the outside. Um, we do have exterior lighting, uh, dimmable LEDs on both sides. Uh, we have a cowboy shower outside as well, uh, but I think the cool features are all going to be inside. So if you want to follow me inside, uh, I give you a tour. All right, so one of the key features that Kingstar offers that actually got us really interested in the company is this dry bath. It's a very unique uh, layout. Um, what we have here is we have a cassette toilet that's on a slider that actually slides out. So you could have your cassette toilet here. And then everything to the left is now your shower, which you could pull the curtain over and you could now have a separate shower and bathroom space. So you don't have to pull out your toilet every time, move around or try to take a shower while you're you know, working around the toilet. So huge feature I really like. And then the next thing that was really important for us and Kingstar actually worked with us to help build this is their new command center floor plan. Um, so the shell is pretty standard. The kitchen is all consistent. The north south layout of the bed is the same, but this unit right here, what we're looking at is what they call the command center. And as we work remote, we're doing nine to five on our computers and we have tons of desk space, which was important to us. So these all slide out. We now have a desk here. If we pull this out, this also is additional desk space. So we can put our laptops here um, and just work right from this space, doing Zoom calls, doing any of our analysis. And then when we want to relax, we can just hang out here, hang out, watch TV. If we want to eat a meal, we have tables that slide out here. Um, so really thoughtful use of space. Additionally to that, as we work remotely, power and being able to work remotely off grid is essential. So we have 800, over 800 uh, amp hours of battery bank, which is stored here. We have 800 watts of solar up top. And then we have two inverters. We have uh, Victron inverters, a 3000 watt inverter that runs the entire camper. And then within this cabinet, we have a 500 watt Victron inverter that is specific for here. We have three different outlets. So when we're just working on our computers, we could plug into this cabinet and run the 500 watt inverter not have to run the 3000 watt inverter and save a little bit of battery. Coming over to the kitchen, um, they have a lot of options. We opted for this gas range. So we have the gas stove and the oven. Um, this is all run on uh, LP. We have two 20 gallon takes of LP outside. We have a nice stainless steel uh, kitchen sink, very tall faucet. Um, and they also include a Keurig, uh, which we have right here that is strapped in. Um, all of these have these nice uh, locking RV knobs soft closing doors, very large and robust fridge freezer combination. Um, it's not full size, obviously, but it's not your small RV fridge freezer. And then we also have a AC unit here. And I think one of the cool features of this, it's a 
side mounted venting so you don't have a big unit on top so it reduces the height of the overall rig and it's actually a pretty quiet unit um, as well so a lot of people have checked this out and commented on how quiet the ac unit is moving past here um, we do have the north south layout in the bed they do have east west which goes this way uh, both of them offer a queen size bed um, and then you have additional storage on the sides right here up towards the back and we have outlets in this drawer up here and then outlets in both side cabinets up front so if we need to plug in our phone or nintendo switch we have power to do it up there so one of the reasons we decided to go with king star is because when you walk in here it doesn't have that marine grade or kind of sterile look the aesthetics are very pleasing when i come in here um, i sit down i hang out i feel like i'm in a cabin or i'm at my home so very comfortable very welcoming and very warm as we're going to be living out of it full time that was really important to us it may not be important for everyone but to us it matters and they knocked it out of the park. So that's the tour of our new Kingstar Camino 88. Uh, if you're interested in more information, you can find that on Kingstar's website um, and that's simply kingstar.com. Uh, additionally, you can follow along on our adventure. You can find us on social media at Exploring Still Connected and we're on YouTube, Instagram, and TikTok. Howdy, I'm Ted with Go Fast Campers and right here we have a V2 GFC platform camper. And let's do a little walk around. So we uh, design and manufacture our campers in Belgrade, Montana and a super lightweight, super durable camper. Um, as you see as I walk you around here, it's all aluminum extrusion and billet pieces that make up the entire camp. If you want to come in a little closer, if you can see here, you have a full pass-through on the inside of the camper to enter the tent area. With that, we call it a transforma floor. So the floor actually can change into various different uh, positions to run either a bunk mode or a full sleeping mode for two people or something like that. We also use big burly billet mounts to mount our campers. So these are designed to be severely off-roaded and withstand heavy off-road abuse. Our campers weigh less than 275 pounds on average depending on the truck size and designed, like I said, to, to seriously off-road your vehicle and have a place to sleep at night. To find out more information, visit us at GoFastCampers.com or follow us on Instagram at GFC underscore USA. Hi guys, I'm Brett with LifeCube. We're here at the Overland West in awesome Loveland, Colorado. And we're looking at the uh, LifeCube best truck tent Dot com best truck tent ever why is it the best truck tent because it's all inflatable so when you get to take a look around at our product here you're going to be impressed to find out that we have a truck tent walks up on the back of a truck bed spans the rails of the truck i can show you over here if you want to follow me you'll see it's all drop stick stitch technology here so inflatable floor you can load six people in here and still have room underneath in your truck bed for storage the airframe technology again all inflatable That'll take snow load up to 100 pounds per square foot. Whole thing comes down into two bags, just about this size right here. Weighs less than 100 pounds, sets up, takes down easily in under 10 minutes, about seven to eight minutes. Just inflate right out of the uh, inflator charged by your car battery. Super easy to pack around, super easy, very flexible, like I said, spans the truck bed. You can even float it in the lake or the pond if you want or you can set it up over on the ground. Two people can easily lift it up off of the truck bed, put it back on the truck bed, stake it to the ground. It's a very flexible format for overlanding and camping. For the family, super easy for backyard setup. Really great product all around. We've been making for the military for about 13 years. This is our first launch of our customer consumer facing product, LifeCube. The first inflatable best truck tent ever. You can get more information. We have a QR code that we'll get a picture of for you, or you can go to besttrucktent.com and look us up. So I'm Ethan with Outfitter Manufacturing. We're here at the Overland Expo Mountain West, and I was going to show you guys some details on the Caribou Light 6.5. So this is one of our more popular camper options, or models rather, because we can build it for half-ton trucks, mid-sized trucks like the Tacoma, the Ranger, that sort of thing. Obviously it fits on three quarter tons, one tons, no problem. Uh, its base weight is only 950 pounds. So even if you have a really low payload capacity, it fits really well. Comes full featured standard, insulated soft wall, fully insulated body, 20,000 BTU furnace, of course a three-way fridge. Uh, you can order it with tons of solar, one, 200 watts, that kind of thing, no problem at all. We can also do lithium batteries, six volt batteries, whatever power you need, we can handle. It's also available with an inverter, a 2000 watt inverter. So you can run a microwave, charge your laptop. You can even work off grid uh, with the kind of solar and battery setup we can do in them. 
Uh, there's also, we can build it with the outside shower uh, and the cassette toilet. So even if you want to keep it as light and compact as possible for something like the Tacoma, uh, you can still have all your facilities even when you're way out in the middle of nowhere. The standard, it's got a push-up roof. Uh, this particular one's got the crank up lift, uh, keeps it nice and light, still easy to raise. Uh, we can build it with an electric lift for the roof, big king size bed with under bed storage. We offer roof racks as well. So for mountain kayaks, surfboards, you know, fishing rod holders, all that kind of stuff, that's no problem. We can even do some custom stuff too, like mounting roto packs. We've reinforced for bike racks, that sort of stuff. So if you have something custom, just let us know. Another feature on this one that's great is that full U-shaped dinette. So rather than being squeezed shoulder to shoulder on a couch, you've actually got the whole U-shaped dinette where you can sit across from each other instead of being crammed in. So the best way to reach us is through our website, outfittermfg.com. Uh, you can also give us a call. Uh, email works great as well. You can also reach out to us through Facebook. We've got an Outfitter Manufacturing Facebook page, Instagram as well, and even TikTok. Good morning, it's Dorian Hartfield from Buckstop Truckwear. We're here at the Overland Pacific Northwest in Redmond, Oregon. It's gonna be a great day. This year we're showing off the 2023 F550, which is a brand new truck for Ford. And one of the coolest things is we've got a, a new styling on this bumper. This is a trail-ready pre-runner bumper, rigid lights, worn 16.5 winch got a lot more angular styling. Uh, we've got new fenders for the 2023. On the back of this truck is a whole kind of new venture that we're working on. This body is a DIY kit from Globe Trekker. This body can be bought in panels. They, they come on a trailer flat. What we're, we're offering is uh, the assembly of the body for people who want to build their own campers. We can sell the whole entire camper. We can build it. We can put it on the truck. We can put it on the frame and then put the whole truck together. We can take it to whatever level anybody wants to do, all in under the umbrella of a DIY project. This particular one is really interesting. It's got a zero torsion frame. So it allows the frame to twist while keeping the habitat completely flat. It's also, this is brand new, got release blocks so that this habitat can be removed from the truck it, like a, a typical camper, sliding camper, and you have a flatbed and then this a true off-road overland uh, four season it's a two and a half inch thick body so all of that's brand new we're just feeling our way through it but it's going to be really neat our website is uh, buckstopinc.com hey guys my name is jen and i am the office manager and lead contact for bunda tech usa uh, we design and manufacture custom slide-in truck campers out of Iowa. So this is our Sable model um, designed for the mid-size half-ton truck. Dry weight, you're looking at about 1,400 pounds. So with this unit, um, scissor steps come out the back, so that's an option so you can get in and out when it's on the truck. Also inside under the L-shaped dinette, you have storage for a porta potty which we use. And then this particular unit is customized with a three burner uh, slide-in stovetop and then a single sink. All of our units have a north-south sleeping area, which is a queen-size mattress that gives you storage underneath the bed, as well as on each side for hamper storage. We also optimize as much space as we can, putting your fridge up front above your water tank to keep all of that weight at the front of the truck for traveling. Unit also has two batteries inside it. This particular has a solar panel on the roof as well, so it helps keep us out longer period of time when we're out on the trail. Um, and then we've got overhead cabinets, additional storage. This unit is also standard with the Vario heat system, which comes out of the company Truma from Germany. Super quiet, super efficient LP furnace, which is set with a thermostat to make sure that you're comfortable no matter what the temperature is outside. This unit also features our half wing awning, which is a 90 degree awning, covers the side and the back of the camper. This weekend we have a triangle panel as well, just to give us a little bit more extension towards the front, just for some rain, wind, sun, all of that, because it's definitely sunny this morning here in Flagstaff. For more information on us, the products that we build, and how we can help you with your outdoor adventures, you can give us a call, 319-234-0071. You can also visit our website, bundutechusa.com. All of our contact information is there. Myself and any of our staff would be happy to help with any questions and off-road needs you have. So I'm Tommy Milton with AT Overland. We're here at Overland Expo West in Flagstaff, Arizona. This is our habitat topper on a five foot bed Toyota Tacoma. We've got uh, the solar option installed on this. So the solar panel is deployable once the tent's deployed. When you close the unit, solar panel folds back over so you have power while you're driving to camp. Uh, this truck's also built out with our cabinet system, fridge and stove, 
built into the slide. So uh, inside the habitat, you have sleeping area out here, three inch foam mattress. You also have the option for two bifold panels that'll close off this area above the bed for a secondary sleeping area. You sleep up to four people inside this unit. We also have another panel that drops into the cabinets. So if you have kids or dogs, they could sleep down here elevated on a sleeping pad. The Habitat's one of our legacy toppers. It's the first one that we built. It's all cotton canvas um, tent, fully sealed. It has uh, front and rear windows. The front window opens up fully so you can access your roof rack from inside the tent. Uh, the side doors open for ladder access if you choose to go that route. It's all aluminum exterior construction, honeycomb composite insulated on the side panels and on the sleeping area. So for more information on our products, you can go to atoverland.com. We're located in Prescott, Arizona. All the contact information is on the website.